The Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan is one of the most spectacular countries in the Middle East. It's famous for its archaeological site, the beautiful landscapes and the delicious cuisine. It's a home to some of the most ancient cities and natural wonders in the world. So there are plenty of fascinating things to learn and explore about Jordan. We had a 5 days trip to Jordan and in this video I will be showing you the travel requirements and the day one activities. It is just 3 hours flight journey to reach Jordan. We are taking a night flight and will be landing in Queen Alia International Airport that is in Amman which is the capital city of Jordan. Good morning, it's 12.28 night in uh, Amman. We reached here and now we are going heading towards the immigration. Indian passport holding UA residence visa will obtain a non-arrival visa with a cost of JOD 40 per passenger. Prior to the arrival, we need to get a QR code generated from the website given below. It took us some while to finish the formalities and we have rented a car from the airport. Central Hotel, Central Mada Hotel in uh, Amman, and uh, we are we're just waiting for our rooms. And it's, it's the time is two o'clock, and all of the kids are sleeping. Hi, good morning. So we had a good sleep. We came last night in Central Mada Rotana Hotel in Amman City. Uh, we had our breakfast. We are going towards uh, Petra. It is almost like a, a four, a three hours journey. Uh, by road, so very excited to explore the city and the uh, place. We have been driving the Highway 15, that is known as Desert Highway. It is almost 232 kilometers from Amman to Petra. After almost a 3 hours drive, we have finally reached the Petra. The entry fees is 50 JOD and children below 12 years is free. As the sun was above our head, we purchased a headscarf and we started to walk towards the Petra. Hello. Hello guys, we are in Petra. The time we reached here, it was now 1pm. 1, 1 so slowly we are uh, going towards. Petra, we started walking now. Buggy car and horse rides are available at the entrance with certain charges. We have come across the Dijin blocks. It is carved by the Nebitians in the 1st century AD. Below these four pyramids, you will find tombs. This narrow gorge is called the Sik. It is resulted due to natural splitting of the mountain and it is almost 1.2 km long. Because of the curiosity, we are walking now faster. Maybe we will reach the destination in some time. <laughs> we better not. At least we can rest and we can come back. But maybe when we are coming back, walking back, we will feel the distance is very, very long. We can see the beautiful city in front of us. The Nibitin Empire from the 1st century BC grew rich through trade in frankincense, mire and spices. The earthquake combined with changes in trade routes eventually led to the downfall of the city, which was ultimately abandoned. Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1985. 
and it was announced as one of the seven wonders of the world. I have seen a lot of videos about the scammers in Petra, but these are the local Bedouin people who is helping us for their leaving. The local Bedouins guided us to the top to have a better view of the sunset Petra. Without them, it was not easy for me and my kids to reach on the top. Some part of the mountains were very steep and sharp and it was not an easy job to climb those mountains. After so much of walking, our legs were too tired, so we took a horse carriage to continue our further journey. This is the theatre. This is the only theatre in the world carved into the rocks. The city structures were carved with the wonderful colour of the rock and that's why it is known to be the Rose Red City. This place is called Nymphaeum. During the Nebitian era, they used to receive water from the tank located on the opposite side of the valley. It is shaded by a wild pistachio tree that is almost 450 years old. Petra was the land of the Edomites who were descendants of Esau and Esau was the Abraham's grandson. Today, its ruins lie uninhabited in fulfillment of the prophetic word. It was 6 p.m. and we were all tired. The Bedouin was so kind to give us a lift back to our car. We have booked the bubble tent in Rock Camp, which is just 15 km away from Petra. A 25 minutes drive. So we reached here, we did the check-in and this is our tent. This is the bubble tent. So let's go inside to see. We are booked for the deluxe rooms and it has two queen beds. The tent was so spacious and air-conditioned. After a quick shower, we are now going to have our food. The camp arranged a buffet system and they had a lot of varieties of salads. After a long day of walk in Petra, we are here right now to have our dinner. So hungry because we didn't have lunch because we reached Pet uh, Petra around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We didn't want to waste time another one hour eating our food, all of us. So we are eating. The weather was so taste. cold and the chill breeze. It was so perfect to have the hot soup with the barbecue chicken. Had an authentic food and finished our evening. On my upcoming video, I will be including all the day two activities which I had in Wadi Ram. Let's climb and see where, which until which way I reach, I don't know. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And see you my dear friends on my next video.